What's up everybody back on Fallout 4 and today I'm doing another VATS oriented legendary build similar to Righteous Authority in some regards but this weapon is a lot more fun to use. I'm going to be doing Kalog's Pistol. Kalog's Pistol has a legendary relentless effect which refills your action points on a critical hit and for the parts I have I got the advanced receiver, the bull barrel, the comfort grip, and standard sights. And now, the location of this weapon where you get it is you have to proceed with the main quest in Fallout 4, and you have to go to Fort Hagen, kill Kalog, and as soon as you kill Kalog, you get Kalog's pistol. That's the only thing I'm going to spoil, and I'm going to keep it vague as possible, of course. Going to perks, we got Gunslinger, and then we're going to max out Awareness so we get a 5% increase of hit chance and damage dealt to in VATS. And we get Concentrate Fire for a 20% accuracy and damage bonus if we hit the same body part in VATS. And we're going to also get Sneak so we can sneak around. Action Boy or Girl so we get faster regeneration for action points. And get Ninja for 3.5 times the normal amount range sneak attack damage. And then we're going to get Gun Nut to fully max out Kalog's Pistol, of course. And we're going to get Bloody Mess for a 15% damage bonus in combat. Better criticals, so we do extra critical hit damage, and then we get critical banker, so we can do multiple critical hits in a row. And then we're going to get Grim Reaper Sprint to fill their critical meter if we kill a person. Get Four Leaf Clover, so we fill the critical meter if we hit an enemy randomly. Gun Foo, so we can kill multiple enemies easier. And then last but not least, Lone Wanderer for 25% damage bonus. And now let's talk about Kalog's Pistol. I would have to tell you Kalog's Pistol is either the most unstoppable force or the most immovable object when it comes to VATS in this game. And I would have to tell you straight off the bat that whatever gets into your way, I would just tell you just shoot it in the face if it's ugly enough and it will get out of the way. Trust me. Modern problems require modern solutions. But luckily, I'm not here to kill a bunch of bloatflies. I'm going to test it on every single high-level enemy in all of Fallout 4. Alright, here's kind of a dumb joke. Kalog's mother in Fallout 4 was such a wastelander that she found a box of cereal that was called Kalog's and named her son Kalog right after that. That's basically how Kalog ended up getting his name in the first place, and it spells pretty much the same as the box of cereal Kalog's. I kind of roasted him pretty bad there, but it's just completely satire, and in the end, we don't really care. Professionals have stained it. The little you know about this game, there are bugs that are so large in Fallout 4 that you have to actually use a 44 Magnum just to put him down. That's one big damn ass bug if I had to tell you that straight off the bat. Alright, let's talk about VATS when it comes to Fallout 4. I don't know why it's so pleasing to hear the beeping sound every time you pull the trigger when trying to hit an enemy in VATS. The 44 Magnum in Fallout 4 is so strong that it can make a 8-foot 
enemy like the legendary superman warlord do a quad backflip if you shoot him in the head just watch this Okay, let's go ahead and kill the ugly legendary Myler Queen I always complained about. And Alan Ripley would definitely approve of this in the first place from the movie Aliens. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's pretty much it for the whole entire video. I will talk to you guys later right after I kill this dusty boy. And um, don't forget to comment below on the next weapon you want me to review in Fallout 4. And at the same time, don't forget to check out my social media links below. And that's pretty much it. I will talk to you later.